Hey everybody, Chad back with a, another YouTube video and today I'm going to talk about uh, something in my collection that is uh, very near and dear to me and that is autographs. Um, I basically started collecting autographs at least 20 years ago. Um, I went to a uh, convention for one of my favorite television series and uh, never really thought about it but uh, the celebrities were signing at this convention and I started getting things signed. Um, kind of got spoiled by that convention because the uh, celebrities would basically sign free of charge. Um, if you bought a picture from them it was like five or ten dollars but if you had a program they would sign it free. They would also sign memorabilia that you may have from the show free and so forth. So I kind of got spoiled with that and then later on started going to autograph shows and celebrities were charging. Um, you know, first couple shows I went to, some of the people were like five, ten, fifteen dollars an autograph, which was very reasonable. And then as autograph collecting uh, got hotter, basically, you know, the sky's the limit. Now there's some television shows that have autograph conventions and you're paying upwards of hundreds of dollars for autographs and photo opportunities and and again I don't uh, want to burst anybody's bubble but uh, I know a lot of people that do this and it's very expensive it's it's really not affordable for the average fan uh, which is a shame so I um, I do like my uh, YouTube friends that do through the mail um, baseball cards and autographs and things like that. Uh, Chris Cards, TTM Troy, they are uh, very successful at um, their YouTube channels and, and what they do. So, shouts out to those guys. Um, before I also get started, I wanted to show one thing. I promised everybody eventually I would show my Buck Show Walter collection, and that is coming, but unfortunately, most of my collection is in Florida. Um, so I kind of wait till I get back to Florida to do uh, the Buck Showalter collection. But I just have a quick preview for you. Um, right here on the desk, we have the Buck Showalter Baltimore Oriole bobblehead. And we have two autographed baseballs. And this one was given to me by my good friend Donald Blomdahl. Shout out to his channel. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please check him out. And this one was uh, totally by surprise through Jonathan H. And uh, Brandon sent me this as just a really nice gesture. Um, two autographed Buck Showalter baseballs. Um, and I actually have a couple more in Florida. But um, just wanted to kind of preview those because those are staying here in Iowa. And uh, we'll actually go back to the collection uh, when we're in Florida. But I wanted to say that video is upcoming. Uh, it's a pretty big video, so it'll probably be a lot longer than these ones will be. But today I'll make it short and sweet. Um, just kind of wanted to show some of my autographs. Uh, and again, I've had to narrow down what I collect, so I'll try to explain that as we go along. But um, this is kind of TV show, movie star type thing. And, um, you know, there's so many people out there you can get their autographs from now. And... And I see people going to these shows that spend hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars on autographs. So um, I will never do that. I, you know, just kind of like stick to the shows that really, really interest me. And, you know, just for it to be affordable and within my budget. And again, I will preach that to any of the collectors out there. Do not get into something that is over your head because then it doesn't become fun. It's just like a financial challenge for you to keep up with all the stuff coming out. So um, first thing I'm going to show you is uh, my sister got me turned on to this television show. It was on, uh, I believe, A&E for about four seasons. It's called Turn, Washington Spies. It was based on uh, a real event of the first spy ring in America under George Washington. And uh, my sister was really into the show. I watched the show with her. And there wasn't much memorabilia from the show, but for one Christmas, um, there was a guy on eBay selling um, a press kit, and um, it, it turned out to be uh, 
really cool. He had two of them, so he gave me a better deal when I bought two. So, of course, I bought one for her for Christmas and myself. And this sort of looks like a, a book, and it's kind of cool. Never saw a press kit really like this before. Uh, in here, there is um, a couple DVDs like of the shows. Like It's sort of like a preview video for people who are in the business, if you will. So those, well, it's kind of stuck in there now, so I'm going to take it out and show you. Whoops, and I'm throwing things around. So here we go. A couple, uh, like, picture discs, and there's, like, the first two episodes of the series um, for, like, critics to, you know, check out and see if they like the show to recommend it and watch it and so forth. So that came with the press kit. I'll try to get back these back in there. So there's also a letter to... Um, you know, the people who were recommending to watch the show. They also gave you this uh, spy um, tool that they used in the early um, spy ring to determine, you know, what the secret message were. It's also this beautiful book in here with pictures from the series. And uh, it was just a, a great show. It was, of course, you know, set in the 1700s around the... The uh, original Independence Day, and it has the character bios of each character and stuff, and it was just a really cool show. Um, so, uh, don't collect a lot from the series, but I thought that was kind of fun. And um, there's an advertisement for the show, uh, just something I kept in my PC. This also was an online comic book, um, which I thought was very interesting. Um, you could, you know, have it online. There's actually two of them. And I was able to download it and take it to a printer friend of mine. And I actually made a hard copy of the comic book and gave it to my sister uh, for Christmas one year. And I have a copy. Um, it cost me about $30 to make it. But, um, you know, probably two people, only two people that have it. So that was one thing. Uh, the show is really good. It's called Turn Washington Spies. If you get a chance, check that out. Uh, I then will go on uh, to give you, show you a more recent um, addition to my collection. Um, I only have two autographs in this, and I'm basically just collecting um, some of the celebrities. If it's a show that was been on and it had, you know, hundreds of people in it, I don't necessarily collect everybody from the show, but like the main characters, I will do that. But um, back in the 80s, there was a show called ALF. And uh, it was pretty funny, and I started, um, you know, it was a very good memory from those days. And I was able to get um, a couple autographs from from the uh, series. Uh, and I don't have my glasses on, so let me throw them on here so I can tell you who these people, people are. This is Ann Sheedon, who, who played um, Kate Tanner in the show. I met her at an autograph show, and there um, is uh, the ALF character behind her. And, um, and this was uh, Liz Sheridan, who played uh, Mrs. Akmanik, the next-door neighbor. So I've actually got two of them, um, and there's about maybe 15 autographs that I want to get. So eventually I will you know, piece that together as part of the uh, Chad autograph collection. Um, moving on, uh, I used to be really, really into um, Alyssa Milano. She's still a beautiful girl, and of course one of her biggest shows was Charmed. And I was able to not uh, meet her as of yet, but I met quite a few characters from the show Charm. Uh, Holly Marie Combs, um, Brian Krause, uh, Rose McGowan. Uh, it was very pricey to get this autograph, but I do have her. I uh, met Shannon Doherty, who was actually very nice. Um, and Jennifer Rhodes. So... Um, Billy Drago, a lot of you remember uh, from the Untouchables movie, The Bad Guy. And he was actually a real sweet guy. He died of cancer about a year ago. Um, Billy Zane was a guest star in it. Um, and the big one is Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. But he actually was in several episodes of Charmed as well. And I got to meet him along with Antonio Sabato Jr. And uh, so occasionally if somebody pops up. I don't actually own the series on DVD anymore, but I, I do collect the um, autographs from the show, so I kind of have that. Another very cool show uh, from the 90s or so 
was a show called Pretender with Michael T. Weiss, and um, I was able to meet Michael uh, in New York, and I got his autograph, and uh, some of these I got personally, some of them I did not, uh, you know, got through other dealers and so forth, but there's Keen Curtis, um, this was uh, George Lazenby, who actually played James Bond in one of the original James Bond movies, played um, Michael T. Weiss's dad in the show. It was only on a few episodes, but um, it, was, it was a great show. It had a lot of guest stars on there. I also got a, um, a press kit. I do like press kits, and for some of the future videos, you'll see that I'm really into these, but um, they will give you like a background of the show and um, you know, actors and character bios and things like that. And a lot of times they'll have like pictures, or in this case, this has like a lot of slides from the show. And I've always wanted to get those in the print. So that is something that's on my list of things to do. But um, that show was on about four seasons and actually has a, a couple follow up movies to it called The Pretender. And Michael T. Weiss was the star. Um, another show from back in the 80s was a show called uh, Wise Guy, and uh, it was a great show. Ken Wall was the, the main character, and um, I'm going to have Norm pan over to the wall here because I actually have two posters in the office uh, from the series Wise Guy. Those are pretty hard to get. Um, you may recognize Ken Wall. He was in a few other things as well, um, but that um, were two posters that I got. Um, also, when the DVDs came out, um, I got a deck of cards that came with the DVDs. There was also an unofficial story of the making of Wise Guy, which is kind of a fanzine type of thing. And believe it or not, one year they actually did a Wise Guy calendar, and I actually have that too. So um, these are some of the my favorite shows of all time. Some of them are very popular, some not so much. Um, in the series, I have a few autographs uh, from Wise Guy. I don't have, uh, and I won't necessarily read everybody off, but um, this show had a lot of, uh, if you go back and look at who was in the series, like a lot of who's who, like first acting appearances and so forth, including Jerry Lewis, who I have Jerry Lewis's autograph in there, um, believe it or not. And some of these guys you will just look at and go, oh, I know that, and uh, there's the actor, uh, Fred Thompson, who turned senator, um, Michael Leonard from The Waltons, was also in this show, and if you were uh, uh, a fan of uh, Babe Ruth appearances, um, you know, there's Art LaFleur, who play, had a character role in the series and it was uh, kind of a mob series at first and it went into other things it was on several seasons um, just a great backstory to it um, but that one's called wise guy um, of course I know a lot of you know about this series um, and this is probably one of my favorite of all time is the Sopranos uh, I have met a lot of uh, the Sopranos and I, I used to have tons of memorabilia. I kind of narrowed that down over the years as well. Went to a thing uh, that they were doing at different casinos um, called Eat with Dinner with the Sopranos and they would have the celebrities and they promoted this cookbook that came out and uh, I had several of them um, sign it and they were there uh, you know, basically to have dinner with us and answer questions. Um, I have another, like, episode guide of The Sopranos. So I have some things like this. Um, of course, I have the series on DVD. And uh, there was one set of trading cards. So this is kind of very cool. It's put up by the now defunct company of Inkworks. And um, it had its own binder. And, of course, I used to print out all the pages from the websites and uh, so forth. So kind of go scanning through that rather quickly. But, uh, again, I didn't want to spend tons and tons of time on it. I used to even have a checklist on some of the way in, uh, websites. But there's a, a sell sheet. And uh, here's a quick look at, at the cards. This is from Season 1 of The Sopranos. The 
apparently did have some contractual problems with the card company and HBO, so they did not um, do future sets. This is the one and only set. Um, they had promo cards, case cards, uh, subset cards, just like all your current sets have, um, and they had autograph cards. So I do have a lot of those and um, as well. And there was even some cards that were produced when the, the card company went out of business. These came on the market and I was able to get a set of them and have in turn, uh, when I've had the chance to meet some of the celebrities in person, will actually have them sign their autograph card. Um, so that's been kind of a fun little project to do, but um, you know, love, uh, love mob stuff, love the Sopranos. It was, you know, definitely one of the most iconic shows on, on television ever, and it's definitely in my top five all-time favorite series. Um, and then I will um, show you this is uh, another Sopranos uh, book with, is a James Gandolfini autograph. Um, I have been to autograph shows and met a lot of the, the cast. And uh, again, I could probably do a whole video on The Sopranos, but again, without wasting a lot of time, you know, you guys want to see the collection, I'm just kind of giving you a Reader's Digest, but um, I definitely uh, collect it's The Sopranos autographs. It is one of my favorite shows. And I've been pretty blessed to meet um, quite a bit of the cast and um, over the years. And it's, so it's been really fun. So, um, matter of fact, this year in November, they are going to have the first uh, Sopranos convention ever. And that's in New Jersey. And there is going to be quite a few um, cast members attending. So those of you in that surrounding area um, you know go ahead and go uh, to that but anyway I did want to show you those autographs and um, carry over this just slightly a little bit more uh, into my favorite movie actors and I know you've already seen the Bruce Willis stuff but um, I was a big Paul Servino fan who did Goodfellas and other movies and I do have some uh, trading cards um, autographed by Paul. I did want to show that as well as you know he was in other movies. I didn't have these autographed but this is like when he was in Dick Tracy I got a, some cards of him in that. Uh, when he was in the movie The Rocketeer uh, I've got a few of the cards that depicted his picture. Bob Hoskins is also another one of my favorite art uh, actors who's passed away. He was in um, uh, the movie Hook with Robin Williams, and I was able to uh, get some trading cards uh, that depicts him in, in, the sh in the movie. I used to have the whole sets, but I've obviously, you know, trimmed back on those things. And um, last, but not least, um, these are um, my actors' autographs that I collect. Um, I do have a Bob Hoskins. I did not get that personally signed. He lived in England and now he's passed away. But I did get to meet Paul Savino. Uh, and I have a lot of Paul Savino memorabilia, uh, mostly uh, photos from movies that were signed. Uh, some of them I got in person, some of them were given to me, but I have quite a bit of his. I did meet um, now deceased uh, comedian Ralphie May at one time. He was very funny. Uh, guy, I got to meet him. I met uh, Jonathan Winters. Um, some people may remember him from Work and Mindy. Ernest Borgnine from McHale's Navy. Tom Bosley from Happy Days and Father Dowling, which is also another one of my favorite shows. Uh, George Kennedy, who is an older actor, you probably heard of him. Uh, Curtis Armstrong from Moonlighting, which was a Bruce Willis movie or show, and. Uh, Curtis was in Revenge of the Nerds, but he was also a regular in, that, in Moonlighting. And Ed Asner, uh, who I actually met several times, very nice guy, uh, I signed a couple. A uh, personal friend of mine is uh, Dwayne Whitaker, who was also, I met through uh, Danny Roebuck. So if you saw that video, uh, you know I personally know Danny Roebuck, and I know Dwayne Whitaker too. So uh, there's 
Gawain in probably his best known feature, Pulp Fiction. And, uh, and it was also a uh, privilege to get to meet Mickey Rooney before he passed away. So, um, you know, I have odds and ends of, of autographs, but I love collecting it. And I basically collect um, my favorite actors from TV shows and stuff like that. And I obviously don't have as much as I used to. And I'm holding off to show you my um, biggest collectibles, which is from my favorite TV show of all time. Uh, which is Dark Shadows. So I do have a DVD coming up on that, and that's going to be quite long because uh, we'll be showing you some of my memorabilia and autographs as well. But that's it for now. I tried to make it as short and sweet as possible um, for you, you guys that wanted to see the autographs. Um, I know it was kind of a Reader's Digest, but I didn't want to bore you with taking 20 minutes in between each picture and so forth. So uh, if you have any questions, just uh, message me. Hope you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to have more videos on my collectibles soon. So subscribe and, you know, check out for those alerts, okay? Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you soon. God bless.